hello everyone this is dupes the genius all the way from lady brand free state the founder and the owner of genius session institute so great uh, great <laughs> servants we are just about to begin 2020 with a bang so what i need out of you is the inner genius that is embedded in you. That inner genius should be unleashed, should go outside of you. So mathematics, mathematics, mathematics all the way. So guys, we are now going to do whole numbers and the whole numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to infinity. So what are we going to do with these whole numbers? We are going to round them off. Now, what is rounding off? You bring it to the closest value. So... Let's start first with rounding off to the nearest five. Yes, rounding off to the nearest five. Now, what is that? This means rounding off to the nearest five. It means you bring it to the closest multiple of five. Now, what is a multiple of 5? All the multiples of 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on. So, you must bring a specific number that is given to the closest multiple of 5. So, let's begin. Here we have 28. 28, bring 28 to the closest multiple of, of 5. Now let's count. We have 5, 28 is between, is between 25, 25 is there, is there, is a multiple of, you must get a multiple of 5 which is below 28 and above 28. That will be 25 and 30. So, what do we do with them? You draw something like this, and then you put 28 between 30 and 25. And then the first step is to count the units between 28 and 30. To get the units, you subtract 28 from, from 30. And that gives you two units. Two units units and then the second is to subtract 25 from 28 that will be 28 minus 25 and that gives you three units now when we talk about nearest we must choose the lowest the possible value and that is two how did we get two units? By subtracting 28 from 30. Now that means 28. When you round 28 to the nearest 5, 28 will be 30. That will be the shortest distance is 2. Therefore, 28 rounded off to the nearest 28 rounded to the nearest 5 will give us 30. So this is it. You start first by finding the number that you are supposed to round off. Find uh, between which multiples of 5 the number is. And then subtract 28 or that number from a number, a multiple above it. 
and then get the units. The second is to subtract the lowest multiple from that particular number and get the units. And then the shortest un I mean the smallest units will give you the exact value of which that number is is rounded off to. So this is how you do it, guys. Now, here it is where you round it off to, to five units, to the nearest five. So what happens when you do um, round off to the nearest 10? You do exactly as you did here. You must find all the multiples of 10 of which that number is between. And then you subtract S we did here. Then you'll get the exact uh, value or a number. Let's take 28. 28 is between the multiples of 10 because we are supposed to round off to the nearest 10. Now, 28 is between 30 and 20. Now, fr from 28 to 30, how many units are there? In order to get those, those units, what are we supposed to do? In order to move from 28 to 30, you subtract this from that, and then you get, you get 2. And thereafter, you subtract 20 from 28, and the units are 8. That is 8 units. Now, in order to be sure whether you did the right thing, you add this plus that, that should give you 10. That's it. Now, always remember, the nearest, you have to choose the lowest. 8, 2. Then that means you have to 28 rounded off to the nearest 10 will be 30. It will not be 20. Why? Because from 28 to 20 is 8 units. It's far. It is not the nearest. So this is how we do it, guys. Now, from this example, we can now have our, our task. And this task is like this. Yes, you round off to the nearest 5 and 10. Round off to the nearest 5 and 10. Now, this is what you, you need to do. For each and every number that is like this one, 612, you must have two answers. That is for to the nearest 5 and to the nearest 10. 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. Now, meaning this will be out of 10 marks. So, guys, let's do it. Remember, mathematics has never been difficult. Mathematics is interesting and it is for you to maneuver through life using mathematics. You use mathematics every day. You count using natural numbers or whole numbers. So let it be. This is just but an introduction into what we were doing we are supposed to do and we are going to make it happen so thank you thank you thank you thank you 
But remember, the remaining time is for you to do this task. And don't forget, after writing this task on your paper, what you need to do is to take your phone, take a, a, a photo thereof, and then upload it in your student section where you, you send your work. It is there in your Google Classroom. So do it. If you don't send your work, I, I'm very sorry. I'm going to give you a big zero. Thank you. See you next time, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you.